down in that Oh my gosh. There we go. So I would subtract those and change that from subtraction to division. So it's the natural log of x over 2 squared, which is 4. Natural logs of two things are equal, so what you're taking the natural log of are equal. Multiply both sides by 4. You get 8x minus 12 equals x. Subtract 8x, you get negative 7x. Divide by negative 7, x is positive 12 over 7. And if you plug that in, you're going to be taking the natural log of positive things, so we're good. Okay, so we're good up to day 57. I'm going to keep going. I told you that Friday. I didn't quite finish where I wanted to finish. Alright. So day 57 is homework. So work on that um, sometime. We are going to be on page 487. work through these. All right. It says use your calculator, but nah. We're going to do this without a calculator. So if I set this equal to x, because you know, it's not equal to anything, it has a log in it, but I would consider this an exponential because it has a number raised to a power equaling something. So I can rewrite it as a log, just like before, using the circle method. You have log of this first number, so that's a little 5, of the number on the very end of x, equals log base 5 of 3. So what's x going to equal? Yeah. Since you have two logs equaling the same thing, then what you're taking the logs of are equal to the same thing. So if it's written as an exponential, to solve it, rewrite it as a log. If it's written as a log, to solve it, you can rewrite it as an exponential. We'll go to the one right below it. If I set this equal to x, I would do the circle method. So log. What's my base? Yep, the little number 2 of x of the one at the very end equals what's in the middle, the exponent. So what's x? Let's see. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's skip to this one. Same kind of thing. It's not a natural log because it's a number, which is e, to a power equals something. We'll call it x. So I'm going to use the circle method and rewrite it as a log. Since it's base e, I'm going to write it as 
that's a log. Or you could write log base e. That's your log e. You can put a little e here if you want to. You don't have to though. e to the x. So natural log or log base e of x equals the middle, which is natural log of 5 over 4. So what's x equal to? 5 over 4. So in any time you can't remember the little tricks to doing these, which I'm about to show you, which you've probably figured out on your own, but if you can't figure out the tricks, you can always rewrite it as a log or a natural log if it's base e. So skipping down to the second part, inverse property of exponentiating a logarithm. If you have a number and log base b of a, so like these, 5 log base 5 of 3, notice it ended up being that number. Notice it ended up being that number. Notice this one ended up being that number. So if that happens, these two are the same and it's a log, then it's just going to be a, whatever you're taking the log of, or the natural log of. Since one is e and one is natural log, which that's <coughs> log base e, it's going to be a. So you can shortcut to that. Again, you don't have to, but you can. words here when the exponent of an exponential is a logarithm whose base is the same as the base of the exponential the result is the argument of the log now there is a reason, there's a method to this madness, believe it or not. There's a reason I'm doing it like three different ways. The first way is for those of you that learn by doing, which actually in math, all of you are that to a point. So we were just doing the problem, learning by doing. The second way are those who learn by seeing. If you see the formula, boom, it's stuck in your head. And then the third way is learn by hearing or reading. Or the third way. All right, so now the next one. These are laws. So if I set these equal to x, since they're a log, I can rewrite them as an exponential. So this is 4 to the x equals the middle part, which is 4 to the 7. So what's the x equal to? 7. Next one, this one's equal to x. It's got a log, so I can rewrite it as an exponential. 5 to the x equals 5 to the 3 over 2. So what's x? 3 over 2.
works with natural log too. You just got to remember that natural log is a log base E. So if I did the circle method, it's E to the X equals E cubed. Same thing here, e to the x equals e to the point zero zero five. So x is point zero zero five. Oops. Mine didn't do this other one. I should have. These two are the same. Not a problem. So I could rewrite it as natural log. Of X. So it's base E. Sorry. I was thinking base E and didn't mean to write it equals the natural log of 4. So x is 4. Should have done that on the first one there. Just didn't. Forgot. So when we get power off and we don't put base E? No. Okay, so that goes with these properties. If you have logs and the bases are the same, so log base B, of b to the whatever, or log base e of e to the whatever, then to the whatever is your answer. So when <coughs> the argument of the log is an exponential whose base is the same as the base of the log the result is the exponent 